track. Yeah, it's a great track. Love it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> for this show, I interviewed Eddie Murphy. That was one of my first right. interviews on the show. And somehow my opening line to him was a joke. And in my head, I'm like, why are you saying yeah. a joke to Eddie Murphy? Like, what are you but doing? But did he laugh? I mean, he did a little bit. That's well, the thing. Yeah, but I don't know what kind of laugh it was. I, no, I don't know no, if it was just I did. like, oh, this sweet girl from Canada. Yeah. <laughs> or if it was Regret nothing, actual Mary. humor. Anyway, I, yeah, I did, I did a virtual with him, too. And when, mm. if you get a comedian to laugh, yeah. you feel good. But again, even if it's a pity laugh, right. you'll I'll take, take it. it. Yeah, oh, you're right. Yeah. I'll so take it. Laugh from Eddie Murphy. 100%. You're right. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thank you, thank you got it. Thank you. Okay. I didn't know whether to laugh at this yesterday, but it's a thing that's happening. Doug Ford has written the president of the LCBO asking for paper bags to come back. Paper bags were there for a while, but left in September of last year for more sustainable bags for the earth. Doug Ford wrote, quote, at a time when many Ontario families are already struggling to make ends meet, every additional expense counts. End of sentence. Costs for the reusable bags at the LCBO, and there are a lot of stores where you're using reusable bags, Buck twenty-five for a bag that holds two bottles, two ninety-five for a bag that holds six bottles. Devo Brown, mm. your thoughts? Um, I kind of understand it, but why now? Is really more my question than anything else. I know you can get some of the boxes, like the with the cans or whatever. You can grab some of those that they have already put on the shelves and maybe use that sometimes. Uh, but those are, if those aren't available, you're out there struggling, taking it to your car. If you don't have a vehicle, you're like myself, you walk around downtown and you make, oh, you know what? I think I want to grab something last minute. You got to spend money every time you go to a store if you don't plan ahead and you kind of are penalized that way. I know other stores charge up to $5 for those reusable bags. So I'm like, oh, I guess I got to make a second trip, go home. And, and the convenience of it isn't there. I understand we should be planning ahead for Earth as you said, and I understand what you did with the song now, with Party All the Time and All the Booze, um, but, uh, which is nice, smart Kim. Um, I don't know, man. I, I get where he's coming from, but why now? Oh, why? Because we're getting close to election time. Is that what's happening? Yeah, I mean, I, I, 2026 in this province is the latest, but it, it seems like everyone's in campaign mode. I'm seeing, I'm seeing commercials. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing them over the yes. framer on the phone sure constantly. Have, yeah. Right, that's <laughs> what I'm tele, saying. telemarketer. Mm-hmm. Now, it seems like we're very much in campaign mode. Okay, yay or nay on this, Mayor? Well, I mean, from a, from a personal standpoint, when I go get my wine, <laughs> sure, I'd, I miss those paper bags. I do. But I think the whole point of this is that it's habit-forming. And we, we the confusion of it and, and the back and forth, I just don't think it's helpful for anybody, including our wallets. I think, you know, part of, oh, I got to bring my bag. Like, I now, when I'm grocery shopping, uh, finally remember but it takes a while because <laughs> right. we shopped many years without that so i think it's just the habitual nature of it and unfortunately even though personally i, I like putting that bag in that in that bottle in that paper bag i do um but we got we got to form another habit and i think we're already starting to so so why stop mm. yeah i'm kind of i'm look this is i'm doing this now at a bunch of my normal outlets mm. the, the, uh, the pharmacies the grocery chains like this is i'm now there so to have someone of authority tell me we need to peel back on that is beyond suspicious to me. Like, is this a buddy of the premiers who didn't like it? Is the premier who just didn't like it one day? Like, I just, I don't know. It feels rather arbitrary to me, the decisions, and not just at this level, at, like, far more important levels that get made in this province. I don't understand them. I don't know why they happen when they do. So I'm going to lump this one in with the rest and say... I'm, I'm guessing it, it, there wasn't a really strong decision. Look, I understand the pricing on this, mm -hmm. but if we're going to lump this into the carbon tax issue, the pricing, it's, it's a little bit of a different issue for most families, right? Right. I think we can agree on that. So I just, I, I don't trust this premier when it comes to timing. I've lost trust when it comes to that. And I'm personally still going to use my reusable bag because I can, and I've been told it helps the planet, and it, I will continue to do that to help the planet in my own little way. Is a paper bag worse than these thousands upon thousands of reusable bags that we all have now because we've forgotten it and we buy another one and when they all get tossed out and thrown wherever, like what's better or worse for the earth? I'm what, confused do you, do you now. have the big bag at home with all your bags inside it? Yes, I do. <laughs> you I know, have the big bag those big bags, yeah. And, with I, still, all the bags. and I still and forget, forget them, them. I right? Know. I know. <laughs> well, I but know. that's the thing, like I, are, these are all piling up too. So it's yeah. like, 
what's better and what's not. Right. Good know. point. So then what are we talking about? Right. Here? What's the I actual thought, I thought reason? I paper was easier to recycle. I don't know. Let us know. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca <laughs> <what I'm> <laughs> on this issue. All right. We're going to take a break. Tammy's got news coming up. Also coming up later on BT. Frank continues his tour of the Princess oh, yeah. Margaret Early Bird Prize Muskoka Cottage. Woo! That is delicious. Woo! More BT coming up.